Ever since gaming began, we've longed for our experiences to be more and more immersive. Gaming allows us to fulfill our greatest fantasies, from being a hero of the land to being an NBA star. But the mind is never content. We want to experience our fantasies in a more immersive way than we did before. That's why with every new console generation, we see better graphics. There was nothing wrong with the graphics in the previous generation. We had a lot of fun with them and were immersed in them. But now we want something even better. From the Power Glove to the Virtual Boy to the Kinect, there has always been something done to try to make gaming more immersive. As someone that's always used gaming as an escape, I've finally found an experience that's immersed me above and beyond anything before. VR Sim Racing. It all started for me back during the pandemic as a guy with nothing to do. I bought an Oculus Rift because I like experiencing new technology and separately I started playing some of my childhood GameCube games. As a kid growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, you had every type of game there was. From Mario Party to Madden, I wasn't even a big football fan, but somehow I had it in my collection. One of the random games I had as a kid, NASCAR 2005. I wasn't a big NASCAR fan, but I was hooked on this game thanks to the career mode. And when the pandemic hit, I decided to pick up the game again. It was between sessions with the Oculus and emulating NASCAR that a thought crossed my head. Wouldn't a racing game in VR be really cool? So I did what anyone would do, a simple Google search, best racing games in VR. And that's when the floodgates opened. I saw games like Project Cars 2 show up a lot. And when I looked up the game, I saw that it was best played with a racing wheel. And the next thing you know, I have a whole jank sim racing setup. Immediately, I was wowed. Let's just start talking about VR in general as a tool for immersion. Even if we take everything else out of it, the fact that when you're in VR, the only thing you see is the game you're playing. And that already makes it so much more immersive than playing on the TV, where you can always see that you're inside your house. Add to that depth perception and you already have an immersive experience like nothing else. So what makes sim racing games so special? When playing other VR games, you don't actually have a sword and you're not walking either. But with VR sim racing, you're staying seated and you actually have a steering wheel in your hands. And it actually reacts to your in-game actions like a steering wheel would. For those of you that aren't familiar with sim racing, racing wheels come equipped with force feedback. That means the game will tell the wheel to vibrate, pull, or turn several different ways depending on where you are on the track, how fast you're going, etc. If you're crazy like me, throw on some bass shakers and you have something really special. Holding the steering wheel with all that weight compared to some light controllers makes all the difference. Even if you remove the VR aspect, the quality of the physics and force feedback of some sim racing games is so good, real life pro drivers use it to practice. Sim racing with a wheel is the closest we average people will ever come to driving actual race cars. And it's pretty dang close according to people who have done both. So you combine that with the already super immersive experience that is VR, and you have a gaming experience as close to the real thing as you can get. F123 has a lot of jank in VR and does not have the most realistic physics. And yet when I play it, I feel so much immersion. I feel a rush and a dopamine shot that I simply do not feel on a flat screen. It's cliche to say, but I truly do feel like an F1 driver in that experience, despite the game's actual shortcomings. You wanna be a knight in shining armor? You can kinda get there in VR. You wanna be in the Star Wars universe? Some experiences are close. Wanna be an F1 driver? Well, I got an experience that's 90% there. 